So good morning students. Uh, today we are going to see about the unit 7 visual communication. Okay. So what is uh, visual communication? First of all, when you say computer, you will uh, come across the thing that computer screen, keyboard, mouse, CPU. But you learn something in your uh, sixth standard. So here we are going to learn about some software and hardware. Okay. So what is file and folder? File is a single component and folder is a collection of file which is stored inside the thing is called folder. Okay. File, it is an individual thing. For example, so these are the files. Okay. Document, PPT, PDF, JPG, MP3, finally MP3. So these are files. This combination we are collected and we have to put it in a, a box called the folder. Okay. So folder is a collection, collection of multiple files, just like your uh, library, uh, which has a shelf. Shelf is full of books and the book shelf is located in a library. So book shelf is a folder. Okay. The library is a main memory or a computer. Okay. So you have to uh, correlate with like that. For example, uh, in your home, uh, in your bureau, you are having your clothes, you know. So it is also one type of folder. Okay. This is an example. Okay. So where you have to take? So when you are right clicking the mouse, it will come a new and in the new, there is a number of thing. In that thing, you, you can see the folder. If you click that, the folder will create a, inside the folder, you have to copy the element. Okay files. So this is mentioned in that uh, theoretical part. How you have to right click the mouse, pop up menu op, uh, will appear and in the new option you have to go for folder option. Okay. So creating file. So there are so many um, uh, options to create file. Uh, drawing, painting, creating animation, spreadsheet, pads. So these are the so many things you can do. So, uh, where we have to take the paint, you have to go to that uh, start menu. In that, you have to go to the program. From the program accessories, from the accessories, you have to go to the paint option. Okay. So, what is visual communication? So, when you are uh, uh, saying a uh, story, uh, yeah, in a normal communication, nobody will memorize or nobody can be able to follow it with some interest. So to make them interest, we have to go with an uh, animation. Okay. With a communication. A good example is if you say Veerapandi Kata woman, you can't be able to, uh, in your mind it will not come. But when you saw a Veerapandi Kata woman movie, uh, who uh, acted by a Sivaji, a great actor, and now you can realize that, oh, uh, the Kata woman will like, look like this only, like that. Okay. So, a cinema is a good example for visual communication. When you are making it an animated movie, you can really understand. Okay. So, this is the example. So, here we are going to study about photo gallery and photo story. Okay. Photoshop. Uh, when you are going for an, a studio for a passport size photo, the Photographer will take an image and it will, he will convert it into a eight photo, small photos. For that, he is using a Photoshop file. Okay. It's an application software which is used to do some banners like that. There are so many banners the people will do now. That. Then we are going for a Microsoft photo story. Okay. To tell a story. So, Microsoft photo story. First of all, you have to open that uh, thing and go to begin a new story. Okay. Then you have to collect the images. What you took by your mobile uh, when you are going for a tour or any vacation. So you have to collect those things and you have to add some caption, add some song, music and you can publish that photos. Okay. So these are the steps they mentioned. Step three, you have to go to the next after adding the animation and audio. Okay. Audio means some music behind that thing. Okay. Then you have to select this thing and there are so many animation also there. 
okay uh, finally you go for settings okay after settings you have to view the uh, video in the view your story so it will come in that uh, story okay so next thing uh, graphics and animation so there is a method called raster okay picture are of two types one is vector another one is called raster okay raster is made up of pixels okay your camera will say no uh, that uh, 10 megapixel 13 megapixel camera the pixel is a point okay so types of raster files png that is portable network graphics jpg or jpeg joint photographic except uh, experts group gif file gif file means there is a small animation file you will uh, get in your whatsapp no so graphics interchange format that is called tagged Im image file format photoshop document so these are some of the raster graphics out of photoshop okay then vector graphics it is a mathematics uh, method of creating okay this is a type of vector graphics is eps a and pdf file you will come across this name now pdf file portable document format okay so software which edit the vector graphics are Adobe Illustrator, Sketch, Inkscape, Ink Escape, okay, Inkscape, okay. So this is how the Inkscape uh, will act. First we have to scan the picture we uh, have drawn in the computer, okay. This is the then we have to open this picture in a Inkscape software, okay. Select the entire picture and select the path from sub menu that is trace bitmap okay option okay so it will convert it into that uh, file format that is a black that is white and black okay that is called grayscale another thing is its name is grayscale image okay so the color image will be transferred into a grayscale image okay so this is the trace bitmap it is called trace bitmap okay then you have to save it by clicking the save button then finally so dimensional and three dimensional images two dimensional there is two dimensional and another one is three dimensional okay so two dimensional it is like uh, drawing normal uh, paper a4 paper you are drawing something no this is called two dimensional whereas we are going for three dimensional with length height breadth okay that is three dimensional here this is a three dimensional images shown okay so there is an, a new technology called virtual reality okay so if you go for some uh, nowadays if you are going for mall they will use some uh, vr okay that is called virtual reality so i hope uh, students you can understand something about what is uh, photoshop and what is photography okay thank you Please like my video and share, subscribe my channel.